So uh, we have mentioned the different uh, steps of the data analytics, and also we also mentioned two types of the information uh, systems, OLTP and also OLAP. So here I want to introduce there are multiple types of the analytics. Um, so data analytics is all about uh, getting high values, actional insights uh, from your uh, data sets. Uh, so with um, nowadays that we have more powerful computers, uh, more storage, and also we have machine learning and also artificial intelligence. So data analytics also become more and more uh, complicated. Uh, so I think this chart uh, summarize, summarizes a different type of the analytics. Uh, you can see that uh, right now we have uh, more powerful data analytics or more complicated data analytics that require less and less human judgment that provide us not only insight but can help us to make decisions or even just recommend actions. Okay. So in the past, we have those uh, descriptive analysis. So for example, that when you, you just drag your Excel sheet into SPSS or some st statistic tools, and you can get some uh, st statistical analysis like every average, sum, etc., or correlation, uh, regression, etc. So, uh, so a correlation, uh, etc., may give you just a diagnostic. So, like what's the relationship between those variables, and also if you're running pre um, forecasting models or using regression models you may also make predictions. Okay, so with the more and more complicated tools, so and that can give you more and more insight, but those analysis still cannot help you to make decisions and all provide some recommended actions. Okay, so, and most importantly, you need to interpret your result. OK, so you have to be an expert in that field and to provide your human judgment. So that is very subjective. So for example, when you read the, those, those statistical summaries, so you have to interpret those, interpret those numbers to generate your insight. So recently, we now have those uh, prescriptive analysis that can tell you what should I do. Okay, so those are kind of more advanced data analytics and that require fewer human judgment and also can even provide the decisions automatically. Okay, you can even provide decisions automatically. And the latest data analytics is the cognitive analysis analytics. So those are powered by the artificial intelligence uh, technologies. They can give you recommended actions based on those natural language or self-learning. OK, so they can generate the insight automatically with very limited human judgment. And they can also automatically recommend those actions that can help you to reach your goals. OK, so those are different types of the data analytics. Um, so for the prescriptive analysis, data analytics, so basically this, this can help you to answer the question that what should I do? OK, so they prescribe actions to take on the data that are provided. And the technologies that behind those such type analysis are using those machine learning models. OK, uh, so if you're interested in machine learning and also artificial intelligence, uh, you, um, I also teach the machine intro to machine learning and also AI classes. So those machine learning models can help us to classify the data or can help us to make predictions based on the input data. So here are some examples, like 
what are the best times to purchase a stock or to run those advertisement. Okay. And what are the uh, treatment that will work best for any individual patient. Okay. So those are some examples of those prescriptive analysis. And those are powered by those uh, machine learning models. The cognitive analytics can tell you what are those recommended actions. And those are power powered by the artificial intelligence. And those are the nearest form of the data analytics right now. OK, uh, so you may wondering what's the difference between machine learning and those artificial intelligence. So uh, you may have seen this one. So artificial intelligence basically is a very broad definition that uh, they can and the, that the computers or the machines can perceive the environment and also can take actions as human beings. OK, so it's a more broad definition. Machine learning is just one part of the artificial intelligence. So machine learning is based on the based on the data that they um, they use different mathematical models to classify the data or to predict the data. OK, so that's the machine learning. And let's come back to our uh, cognitive analysis. So uh, cognitive analytics provide very highly specialized recommendations to businesses so that we even without those human involvement. OK, uh, so in today's lab, uh, we will use QuickSight again to analyze the data in the data warehouse. So we will connect QuickSight. Uh, with Redshift, uh, you don't, you're not going to create a Redshift uh, instance because Redshift is very expensive. So we only have fifty dollars credits. So um, I don't want you to run out of all your credits within one hour. So I will create the Redshift instance for you. So you will use your quick site to connect to the Redshift. And you will see that Redshift do have some AI functions that can provide you some insight automatically. OK. Uh, so here is another a very interesting example that of the cognitive analytics. So uh, on my cell phones, I have an app on my cell phone that I have an app and that can track my sleep patterns. And you can see that they analyze my sleep patterns and they provide those uh, recommendations automatically. So for example, that to, in order to maximize my deep sleep ratio, so my duration should ideally at least uh, five hours. OK, and also I should fall asleep at least at 2 a.m. So I don't know why they, uh, I think this is not accurate, probably because there are some days that I I slept too late, so that's why they have those recommendations. But this is one example of the cognitive analytics.